Hello, Tensor friends. Uh, I was doing some reading on differential geometry this morning, and I read across something I had not seen, the wedgie, the wedge product. Okay, and reading about it and its characteristics and what it does, it looked very similar to me to the cross the, the product, V cross P or V wedge P. So I started digging into it a little bit, uh, it's very abstract, and I think I know why they want it. We'll get to that at the end. Uh, but let's look at some of it. Okay, here's what what it looks like, the cross product, the wedge the product. And you know that V cross P is equal to negative P cross V. They're inverses. Uh, the same thing is true for the wedge the product. And you also know that V cross V is equal to zero and V wedge V is also equal to zero. So let's make up a couple of vectors here. Let's use our Desmos. So we've got three points. We've got three, one, one, and one, two, one. Uh, we want to put some vectors on those guys. So here we've got these two vectors, okay? And we want to take the cross, the product of this. <clears throat> and everybody knows how to do this. But let's go through it because it's fun. Okay, so we want to first get our I hat uh, position. So in our mind, we cross out this column and this row. And we go 1 times 1 minus 2 times 1, which is negative 1. Then we write down a negative sign. We cross out this column and this row, and we go 3 times 1 minus 1 times 1 is a minus 2. Uh, it's a minus 2 because you put that there first with the J hat. The last one, you cross out this column and this row, and you go 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1 is 5. So here is our uh, cross product, the vector. All right, so let's look at it. All right, so there it is, and it's supposed to be a negative 1, negative 2, 5. So let's look. Negative 1, negative 2, 5. Okay, so that looks right. Okay, now, what is uh, the magnitude of this? Well, the magnitude of this is given by uh, the, the magnitude of V times the magnitude of, of P times the sine of the angle between them. Well, to find the sine of the angle between them, I need to first do the, the dot, the product. So I got V dot P is 6. And the definition of this is V dot P equals... The magnitude of V times the magnitude of P times the cosine of the angle between them. So I just solve for the angle. Uh, take the arc, the cosine of, of this over this, and I get a 42 point, let's call it 4. So now I can put that in this equation and solve for the magnitude of this vector, which is 5.47. Okay? Now the other definition... <clears throat> that you can do with this. Let me get rid of these points because they're they're kind of bothering me. Okay, is we can say, what is V plus P? Boom. It looks like that, okay? Now, we can define a parallelogram by using this as the end of the point, and we get this, right? So the area of this parallelogram here, let me get this guy out of there, boom. This area is also equal to the magnitude of this vector. The area of that parallelogram is equal to the magnitude of that vector, okay? So let's go back to our document, and now let's do uh, the wedge, the product of these two vectors. And here's some some things you need to know about the wedge, the, the product. Remember, A wedge B is equal to minus B wedge A, and A wedge A is equal to zero. So we talked about that already. All right, so we've got these 
this vector wedge with this vector. So you just go this times that plus this, and you do all that, and you get nine terms here. But remember now, uh, because of this here, is that i hat wedge i hat is zero, and so is j hat wedge j hat and k hat wedge k, k hat. So we, we lose three terms immediately, and we're left with just six terms. All right. Now, the other property is that this is the negative of this. So, in other words, i hat wedge j hat, this becomes the negative of that. So, I can combine these two things, right? So, I can say 6 minus 1 is 5 i hat wedge j hat. And here's the i hat k hat. Where's the other one? There it is. So 3 minus 1 is 2 i hat wedge k, k hat. What's the last one left? j hat and k hat right here. So it would be uh, 1 minus 2 is a negative 1. Okay, so here is our wedge, the product of those two vectors. And look, they look very similar to this, but not exactly right this one has a negative this one doesn't but this and this one's the same so what's that mean well let's go back to our graphing stuff i got all kinds of stuff on here don't, don't i get out of there dude let's put our unit vectors on here <clears throat> this is ijk Ooh, i need some juice on there there you go so here is i i j and k right now what happens if i take the cross the product of those guys what is i cross j oh it's k i cross j is k let's go over here and look we got a i wedge k and it's wait a minute i confused myself oh i got i j i'm sorry okay uh, I wedge J here, so it gives me a positive, it gives me a positive K, right? So I just replace this with K. Now what is J, J cross, the I cross the K? It's a negative J. All right, so I wedge or I cross, either way, K is a negative J. So this 2 becomes a negative. So the last one is J cross K. And that gives me a positive I, right? See that? The blue one. So that doesn't change the sign of this. So what's that mean? That means these two things are the same. In three dimensions Cartesian space. <laughs> That's what it means to me. And the way it's explained is that when you, let me get this stuff off and go back up here. Let's put our two vectors back. Boom, boom. Reduce and go back to our area. Right? So the way it was explained is that the difference is that the wedge product of two vectors gives what's called a bivector, which is this, which is the area of this. And the area of this is also related to the cross the product by the area of this is the magnitude. So what happens here, is, and the reason that it is of interest to, oh, I did that down here. The reason that it's of interest to uh, to relativity is because what if you wanted to take the uh, cross the product of two vectors in space time? Well, sp space time has four dimensions. So what do you do? You you can't you can't do this. It it doesn't it doesn't work. That's why this works. So this is the generalized the form of the cross the product in, in any dimension in any reference frame. That's all I understand about it. It's probably all I need to understand about it because I don't imagine I'm ever going to use it. But I did think it was interesting. All right, I'll see you later.